somebody who needs push off, that has pain with push off, and what you're going to do is you're going to build an external Achilles tendon to help support the injured internal Achilles tendon, okay? So scoot down towards more. Yeah, so there's a little bit more leg off. I am gonna use a light spray here. You'll see why, because we need to use a little bit of the um, under wrap, the pre wrap, and I don't want you guys to struggle with that part of it, okay? So what we're gonna do is a light spray to the whole bottom section of her leg, tibia, foot and bottom of the foot, okay? Because you're going to see we're going to cover, it's almost going to be kind of similar to an ankle, the start of an ankle tape. Um, and so we need this whole area covered. What I see people do wrong when they learn this first is they make this short little baby Achilles tendon. The Achilles tendon is quite long, okay? The <laughs> muscular junction is up here. So you have to start up that high, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna protect the skin. Now I can do one of two things. I can do, I could start at the bottom and come to the top like I do an ankle. I can be at the top and come to the bottom like I just did. Or I can just do the strip that needs where I'm gonna put the light blast, okay? I tend to always do the whole thing because there's socks, there's cleats, there's high tops, things like that get in the way. So I just like there to be a nice clean slate that we work off of, okay? So again, whether you do your from bottom up, I just happen to do top down, I don't know why, but um, as long as it gets it covered, <clears throat> okay? Then you're gonna anchor. You're just not gonna anchor with our white, which is what we do in the standard ankle tape. We're gonna anchor with our light plastic because we want all this muscle to contract and that tendon comes high. I have to be above that, okay? That's how long the tendon's gonna be. So I'm gonna go 50% overlap and get some of the skin and I'm gonna get some of the, of the pre-wrap. I could have gone once around, I decided to go <coughs> twice just to make sure I have a secure anchor there. I also need to come down to the foot and anchor I'm not putting a ton of tension through the light plast, it's just my anchor. One anchor around 50% on her skin and 50% on the pre-wrap. Which is why I don't take the pre-wrap all the way down. Because then you have no skin left to attach to. So you have to find the nice balance. Where's the junction? Don't go too past that junction with your pre-wrap because then your light plast is going even higher. Okay? But don't stop it so short that you're actually wrapping part of the Achilles tendon with the, with the anchor. The anchor should be above and below the area. So from there, once we've got that done, <clears throat> now we're gonna use our light plast for the first time. Excuse me, our elasticon. Nice heavy cloth tape, much stronger than our, our uh, light plast. We're gonna measure the back side from anchor to anchor and then I'm going to cut. Now, you cannot tear um, elasticon. It's too thick. I'm going to make two pieces that are relatively the same. I'm going to come here so you can see what I'm doing to it. I'm going to take a small slit. You see the line? Follow your line. Make a small slit on the bottom. Make a small slit on the top and do that for both pieces. Small slit top, small slit bottom. Now, now we're gonna attach. <clears throat> what I need the athlete to do is plant her flex for me. I'm gonna take the piece under here, I'm gonna rip it a little, and I'm gonna ask her to reach down and hold those two tails. Then I'm gonna take most of the tension out she still planned her flex. I'm coming up, and if I've made my strips long enough, I've wrapped and connected below. So once it's slit a little bit, it can tear, but you have to start it. Then I'm gonna overlap it again. I'm gonna ask her to grab those other pieces, take most of the tension out, connect it, and then overlap it. Now, I'm gonna ask her to stay holding, 
quickly grab your light plaque and cover in. Do you see how I'm kind of covering in her foot a little bit? I didn't just go once around to, to re-anchor. I, I really filled it in a little. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay? So I kind of came down, filling it just a little bit. Because what's going to happen is then next you're going to fold the piece underneath it because all that sticky stuff is back there and I don't want her to get stuck to it. So I fold it inside of itself and then we're ready to go. I'm just going to close my anchors with some Luco tape. And now she can play. So what that's going to do when she goes to put her foot down, why you want to fill it in a little bit and not just go one strip around is this, she's going to put weight through it and it's going to start to slip out. So we want as much coverage as we can without compromising the Achilles external. You see, we made an external Achilles tendon. Okay? So what you have to be considerate of is making it long enough wrapping enough to solidify it so when she goes to put her, all her body weight down it supports her and it doesn't just snap right out of the back okay some athletes don't mind it if you just do a light light plast all the way up because it's totally secure it keeps it there but some again less is more to them and they don't want any more tape than it has to so be so that doesn't take away from this if you Light plus over it. Okay. No, no. So go ahead and step down. Careful with putting your weight 